It's got to be a, a little nerve-wracking when you head to overtime. Obviously, you know, you get the point there, but you want to get that extra point. It didn't take long, 16 seconds. What is the approach for you and your players when you get to three-on-three -three overtime? I mean, right now, we, we haven't been doing well three-on-three -three and in the overtimes. We had a couple where we lost. Some, one of them we lost with seconds in the three-on-three, -three, and we lost the other one in shootout, so we haven't been doing too well, but we pulled it together tonight. Well, we're trying to get into playoff mode right now. And, and I know you've been playing well. Now, obviously, you've had a long time off. You had that loss against Greater Latrobe, and then you said we had to do some scrimmages, but I'm sure it's not ideal when you have, what, three-plus weeks off in between yes. games. What did you do to keep the team ready? We just kept focusing on everything we needed to do, make some defensive changes, and they worked tonight. By far, we kept the shot count down. Yeah, you certainly did. Penn Trafford is a pretty impressive team, and really they got a, a jolt when Drodos arrived to begin the third period. He is yes. a difference maker. Yes. Is that anything where you have to change the game plan when a player like that who hasn't been out there the first couple periods enters the game and seemingly comes out with a full head of steam? Well, we just kept to our game plan, just kept the same, same type of forecheck going. We didn't want to change anything. We talked about it. Boys all decided in the locker room we're just going to keep going the same way we are. Talk me through, uh, obviously, it was just 16 seconds of overtime, but Sinclair gets the winner, and then he, he leaves the ring for a second. <laughs> I'm sure that was very exciting. What did, what did you see uh, that had you send him out there, and how did that play work? Uh, we just been watching our pairings. We've been going with strong pairings, two forwards, one D. When we get into three on three, we've been working on it in practice, been working on the shootouts. We've got a shootout count we're working with, so everything's been going pretty good. I, I know that you've had some great success here at Franklin Regional. You made it to back-to-back penguins cup championships didn't win either one of them you've sort of been a favorite at times throughout your time here now maybe a little bit under the radar because your team didn't have a great start to the mm -hmm. season do you feel as though maybe your team's peaking at the right time and is it and to some extent a benefit not having those high expectations and maybe being a, a team that can surprise some I others? mean this is the benefit too and if you remember that first pens cup we went to we were in seventh place rolling into yep. the playoffs and ended up making it all the way so you know, it's bottom line. The boys know you've got to get into playoffs, and then you've got to be playing your best hockey, and that's what we're focused on. There's some really good teams in this Class AA, and now you're ahead of Penn Trafford, but they're a very game opponent as well. Knowing what you do about this classification, what is it going to take to make a run? This one's extremely difficult this season. It's tight. Every game is tight. You've got to work. Uh, it's stressful every game, believe it or not. And then uh, you've always you got to work to get through TJ and South Fat. They're playing good hockey right now, as always. Lastly, I'm sure you go into the locker room after a game like this. It's probably jubilation. You still have, I'm assuming, a message that you want to get across as far as where your team can still get better. How do you balance that with allowing the, the guys to celebrate what's an incredible moment? Well, I mean, we're focused on Thursday night. We got a tough one. We're on the road up in Belmont. We got to play Armstrong on Thursday night, and it's not going to be easy. We know it. We got to go for another win. We're, we're trying to get three more here before we close out the season. Well, you got one tonight. You can yep. bank on that, John. Congrats on the victory. Certainly in thrilling fashion. Go enjoy it. All right. Thanks.